I discovered a hive online that I think is kind of neat. It's called a verticomb hive. I looked and looked at the pictures and I thought, you know what, I'm going to throw one of those together, see what I can do. So what I did was I took a couple of deep hive bodies, I trimmed them a little so that uh, bee space would be correct and that'll make sense in a minute. Uh, I used my pocket hole jig to screw them together, cut these massive holes in the top and bottom. I put a little rest there in the bottom. I think I'm going to try to get a 5 16 stainless rod for that. I think it'll work better. So I just screwed this monstrosity to a standard, eh, rather standard bottom board. It's got a sloped bottom and uh, piano hinges as you can see. And I need a a pull and a catch still, but here's the door. It operates very nicely. And uh, don't let this empty frame fool you, but the frames go in here like that. So, that, so it's a standard 10 frame Langstroth box. And the idea is you could get at your frames from the side now that gives you access to your brood chamber during the honey flow without lifting honey boxes off. It also gives you access from the side if maybe you have a mobility issue. Uh, so it kind of gives you some accessibility there. And you know, I, I, I'm pretty sure that I could build honey supers like this too. So if you put a honey super or two on top, you could uh, then beekeep even perhaps wheelchair bound or you know if you really can't lift anything or you want access from the side i know there's other solutions out there for that kind of thing but this might be one so anyway uh, as you can see i've tried to get things just right the frame seems to sit in there nicely just with this uh 5 16 shim i think is what that is it's a bit long. I think the bees are really going to propolize this and stick that frame in there. So I'll we'll have to see how much of an issue that is. I'm hoping I designed this spacing correct. It actually, to me, looks like I didn't. But uh, we'll see how that spacing... Oh, here we go. How that spacing works out. You see how the bottom of the box is there? I kind of meant to have the bottom of the box just a little under the frame. So... I may have cut too much off that box. Maybe I'll have to stick a shim in there or something. So, yeah, I kind of excited to use this goofy thing. Uh, I have a problem here. This, um, as you can see, the frames are going to sit like this. So the next frame, you know, the bottom of the next frame is going to be up here. So you've got over an inch between those two bo uh, two frames here and you know what they're going to do in here so that's going to be an issue I don't know what the solution is besides perhaps cutting the entire top of this off replacing that with something very thin I believe if you did that however you'd run into some structural rigidity issues here because this uh, is going to take a lot of weight, it's going to take a lot of abuse, it has to be nice and square and stay stable. So I don't really know what to do there. You know, that reminds me, maybe, uh, I didn't know why the designer of this did what he did. But he didn't cut big giant holes like that. He cut slots. He just cut a few slots. People call it a queen excluder. It's not a queen excluder, it's just slots. And just thinking about that, those slots are B-space. Those slots are 5 16 So it doesn't matter that they're, you know, three quarters of an inch, maybe to an inch. My material here is 7 8 uh, deep. Because it's only a, a 5 16 slot, they're not going to comb that closed. So that's the genius in that. I didn't catch on to that until just this moment. Uh, so we'll see how this works. This, this may or may not work. 
<laughs> these were a couple of uh, kind of not great looking boxes so I decided heck I'm gonna kind of jury rig this together and see what happens maybe we can use it this summer that'd be kind of fun oh I did read it on their website people are saying oh well you know if you put your drawn comb in here your drawn comb is is drawn out in this orientation and then you you tip it you know the the cells are are slanted down a little bit uh, normally and then so if you tip it your your cells are going to be slanted this direction instead of that and the designer of it addressed that he said that you know his experience he's used pre-drawn comb with no ill effects i would guess that if you want to you know avoid that um just have your comb drawn in this box in this uh in this position and then i suppose you would probably want to put a big arrow on the on the the top bar here or paint one end of it or something uh, because that frame then could go in upside down if you're not careful but again he said it's not an issue uh, so I don't think I'm going to worry about it I'll use maybe some drawn drawn brood chrome in here and see what happens if it's not an issue it's not an issue then you don't have to worry about it so anyway uh, I'll make another video when this thing gets finished and and uh, when I get using it it might be kind of fun to watch what happens have fun